What is up everyone? How are you all doing? Before I start off today's video, I want to show you something cool that I managed to do yesterday and you guys can tell me whether you want a video on it. So here we go. If we really quickly go into Spotify and try not to get a copyright strike. I used to hate random boys that took random boys and took random boys Okay, so that's that. Uh, I think it's pretty damn cool. It's a little bit temperamental, of course, uh, but I think this is pretty cool. You can do some pretty cool stuff with it. That little controller there is a leap motion. I've had previous videos with it, but now I figured out how to do Windows controls with it. And I personally think that's pretty damn cool. Sometimes it works really good, like it's working now, but sometimes it doesn't work at all. When it works though, it's a pretty damn cool party trick. So my lighting is messed up completely again. Let me fix that real fast. Today we are talking about Unraid and Unraid is something I am very, could you say passionate about? I don't know, I love the thing. Um, I was recommended it by a friend a few years back. I was using Xpenology and ever since I switched, I have never gone back. Unraid has been running on my NAS for quite some time now, and we are going to go through the steps of this video. So first of all, I'm going to tell you guys what Unraid is, then I'm going to tell you why you need it, and after that, I'm going to show you exactly how to install it because it is very, very simple. Uh, I am not affiliated with Unraid in any way, but Unraid, if you want to affiliate with me, you know where to find me. Moving on. What is Unraid? So you guys have definitely heard of a NAS before, and a NAS stands for Network Attached Storage. I did a video about free NAS a while back. FreeNAS is essentially a different software to Unraid, but it runs in roughly the same way. Now, Unraid has a lot of bonuses on top of that. Of course, it is paid, but don't run away just yet. Just because it's paid doesn't mean it's not worth it. Let me tell you what Unraid is exactly and what you can do with it. Unraid is a Linux-based system that you can run on an old computer, or you know what? Scratch that, it doesn't need to be old. For example, that thing up there is running an i7 because you can run virtual machines, you can run containers from Docker, you can install different types of apps to run a speed test every few hours. It is essentially a hub, a NAS, and a monitoring station all in one. Oh, not only that, but let's remember those Docker containers and virtual machines that you can run on it. So essentially you could be running an operating system on it. If you guys have seen Linus's One PC Seven Gamers or something like that, that is exactly how he did it on virtual machines on Unraid. Oh my God. <laughs> but yes, Unraid can do a lot of things and it is extremely, extremely useful. Now moving on, to why you should have it, why you actually need it. Now, of course, you don't need it, need it, but after you hear what I'm going to tell you, you will probably want it. So let's say, for example, you want to run a Minecraft server. Unraid can do that. Let's say, for example, you want to have a NAS. Now, if you guys don't know what a network attached storage is, it kind of looks like a Windows File Explorer browser. So if I open up my File Explorer right here and go into my NAS, as you can see, this straight up just looks like a normal file system. But the cool part about this is it's on the network, meaning I can access it from my phone, I can access it from an iPad, I can access it from a tablet, I can access it anywhere in the world if I do the correct port forwarding and the correct security measures, because port forwarding Samba is bad if you don't have the correct security measures taken. Don't worry about it. Um, right now, I'm just VPNing into my own computer and accessing it that way. But yes, you can access it from anywhere. Let me show you that. I'm gonna access it from my phone right now and you're gonna see all the files from the NAS that you just saw on the computer show up on my phone. So any movies that you have on your Plex server, any pictures, any files that you wanna share, you can do it right through the NAS. You don't need a USB stick. There's no messing around. Everything is right there. And of course, it has a lot more storage than a USB stick. For example, my one now is running towards six terabytes and I am planning on upgrading that to 10 terabytes because I am insane. So one of these is local and one of these is external and I don't know which one's which. So as you can see right here in Solid Explorer, my NAS is right there 
all my files are right here. The files you just saw on the computer right there. So if I ever want to transfer anything from my computer to my phone, I can use the NAS for it. If I ever want to share a movie with someone, share a project with someone, I can use the NAS to do it. But let's not stop there. Plex. Plex is amazing. If you guys have ever heard of it, it allows you to put all your movies on Plex. Don't pirate them. And you can watch it from an app on your phone. You can watch it from an app on your computer. You can watch it anywhere in the world just by using, well, any device you like, as long as you have Plex running on your NAS. Now, along with that, I have speed tests running, for example. Speed tests automatically checks my internet connection every hour, logs it all, and creates a little graph for me, showing me where my internet connection dropped, whether it's stable, and things like that. So that's the monitoring part of it. Then I also have Bitwarden running. And if you guys don't know what Bitwarden is, it is truly amazing. It's a password manager. So that means it creates randomized passwords for you for every account. Every password is completely different, allows you to set a master password, meaning that all your passwords are protected with one master password, and that can also be completely randomized. And again, because all your passwords are different, the security threat of when information has been leaked from a website is much lower to you. And not only that, it has things like autofill, of course, autofill on your phone, an app for your phone it's great it really is and i managed to set that up with the help of a friend while i was in poland so if you guys ever do get an unread nas i definitely recommend getting yourself bitwarden so i think that is truly enough i mean there is an infinite amount of possibilities with unraid considering you could run windows on it you could run ubuntu on it you can run anything you want on it not only that but the endless amount of new cool community apps coming out you can run servers you can run anything and you know the way you guys probably think of a massive server when i say server because that is what people think of and not everybody wants that kind of thing in their room so let me prove to you that a server doesn't need to look ugly this is my NAS. My NAS is tiny, it fits in the palm of my hand. You guys have seen it in a previous video where I was doing data recovery on it. That is all you need to run Unraid. And Unraid runs straight from a USB stick, so you're not actually wasting hard drive storage to run Unraid itself like you had to do with FreeNAS, even though FreeNAS could also run off of a USB stick, so I guess that sort of works. Again, Unraid is paid. You can see the website link down in the description below. Again, I am not affiliated with them in any way, shape, or form. You pay per the amount of hard drives that you want, so I personally, I think I have the four hard drive option, and again, I'm going towards six terabytes now, so that is quite a lot of storage. I need it though, trust me, I need it when recording 4K. So to download Unraid, let me show you guys. You go onto the Unraid website, it's going to be very, very simple. You literally just click download right here, it's going to download, and Unraid is tied to the USB stick that you install it on, meaning that that USB stick can never be changed or broken. It needs to be on the same USB stick because when you're buying Unraid, I believe you type in the UUID of that USB stick or something like that. I don't fully remember. All I know is that it is tied to the USB stick. And when you plug the USB stick into the computer, Unraid checks whether it is the correct USB stick. If that USB stick ever becomes lost or damaged, you can request them to change that. I've never had to do that though. So I'm pretty safe along that end, but it's pretty simple. You just download this creator, you open it up, it asks you right here, select your version, select your USB flash drive, and that is how simple it is. You just write it to the USB stick. Then you set that USB stick as the main boot device on your computer, laptop, whatever you want to use Unraid on. Don't use it on a laptop. That's kind of a waste. And that is it. You are so set to go. I was asked to make a video about Unraid yesterday when I made my video about Home Assistant because yes, Home Assistant is also running on my Unraid. So there you go. We're just piling on the amount of things running on my Unraid. And Home Assistant, again, is a hub for all your smart home devices that you can run for free as a Docker container on Unraid. And you guys saw how simple it is to install those Docker containers yesterday when I was having a massive pain trying to install it on the Raspberry Pi and on Unraid, it was literally just two clicks. So there you go. And let me just try open up one of my Unraid things here. So this is my Unraid, as you guys can, you can't really see it, but it's here. Uh, of course, you can have different users. You can give them different permissions. They can access some folders, but some not things like that. So that's something, for example, I might want to do when I'm doing video editing and I'm sharing it with someone. Speed test tracker. This is something new, actually, that my friend recommended to me yesterday. So as you can see here, this is a speed testing software. 
it so far it looks absolutely amazing to be honest it shows me my ping 6.9 milliseconds download 691 that's not true i'm getting about 900 the upload is 91 megabits per second everything looks good to me even though the upload is also 300 so the nas seems to be getting a little bit less but that's probably because of its network card and then if we go into apps there's an unlimited amount of community apps that people are constantly creating and working on a lot of these are from docker but a lot of these are created just for unraid and i can see npass there it seems to be like a different version of bitwarden but i'm using bitwarden rs so that's there so there you go guys uh if you guys have any questions about unraid or want to get it or want help setting it up please tell me down in the comments section below i would be very happy to help you guys out with that since i feel like well i've done this a few times so i feel like i know what i'm doing if you guys have any questions about unraid like what specifically it can do or whether you wanted to do this one thing and you're wondering whether it can do it ask me down in the comments section i can check it out for you because i have it uh, and i want you guys to to be happy before you decide to purchase anything but i do feel like this is something that really helps you out and that once you have it you can't really get rid of it because you get so used to using it you guys know what i mean but yeah that's unraid for you uh, i was asked to make a video about this from yesterday's video so i decided to explain to you guys what unraid is exactly how you can get it for yourself and what use cases it has so hopefully that helped you guys out hopefully i did a decent job explaining it but yeah that is going to be it if you guys want a setup video for unraid please let me know i'll have to think about making that because that would mean me resetting my nas if you guys like this video make sure to give it a like if you guys disliked it dislike it but please tell me why down in the comments section below if you guys want to join this community if you guys like the type of content i produce make sure to smack that join discord server button with your forehead down in the description below join our reddit where i want to see you guys posting spicy memes from this channel and yeah if you guys want to be notified of future content coming up daily i post tech videos daily and vr videos on mondays and fridays so if you guys want to be notified about that make sure to smack that subscribe button with your forehead ding my bell and see you again in the next video peace and of course a mug sip for the og people right here let's let's do this peace out 360p gang peace